everyone! My name is Victoria. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show you how easy you can create custom a picture frame in Adobe Photoshop. So guys, let's rock and roll. I have opened Photoshop and first of all I will need to create a new document or new file. You can name it as you like. To do so, I will click on new file and from the um, new document window, I will specify size for my document. Again, guys, you can create your document in any size you like. After I specify the size, I will click create. And just like that, Photoshop creates a new document. By default, Photoshop creates a new document with one layer and this layer has a white background. Next step is very important. Next step is to create a new layer. To do so, I will click on create a new layer and just like that, Photoshop creates a new empty layer for me. Why I'm naming this layer is empty? Because this, this layer has no information, no color, no pixel in it. And this is very important. So we have created a new layer. After that, we will click on filter, render, and picture frame just like that. Now time to choose our frame. To do so I will click on looking down um, arrow next to the uh, frame just like that and from the drop down menu I will click on art frame and just like that Photoshop creates a new frame for us. By default Photoshop creates a new frame in the color you used the last time when you used the frame uh, workspace. I can change it. To do so, I will click on wine color and guys, here we have many different ways of choosing the color. First of all, first, first, um, the simplest way is clicking on uh, pencils and from a uh, pencils uh, color menu, you can choose any color you like. I will click on this um, kind of, let's see, red uh, color just like that. Because we are working on holiday Christmas uh, frame, I prefer to create my frame in red a color. After I specify color, I will click my colors uh, panel and just like that, Photoshop change a, a color of my frame. Time to adjust the frame. To do so, I will move my mar margin uh, slider. If I will move my margin slider to the right, I will make my um, frame smaller. What I would like to do, I would like to move my margin slider to the right, to the left, I'm sorry. Uh, about uh, now my margin value is 3. Next is size. If you will move your size slider to the um, right, just like that, you basically um, modifying thickness of your uh, frame. So it's completely up to you. I will move my um, size slider somewhere in the middle, about 49. Next step is arrangement. If you will move your arrangement slider uh, all the way to the right, um, uh, in a simple uh, explanation way, uh, arrangement is um, arrangement slider responsible for the style of your frame. So what I will do, I will move. Let's see which one I like. So, okay. I move my arrangement slider. Let's see where I want it. So difficult. They are so beautiful. Okay. Again, as you notice, probably you don't have to move your slider to the right or to the left just right away. Just one percent makes a huge difference. So. I specify arrangement value to 101 and now I have beautiful, simple holiday uh, frame. If I will uh, click on advanced, I will be redirected to advanced workspace where I can adjust how many lines um, in my frame I will have. So what I will do, I will move my number of lines in the left and num value of uh, lines right now is 8. Look at this. This is a very simple frame, guys. Super uh, simple. 
and after I'm happy with everything, I will click OK. And just like that, look at this. Photoshop creates a new frame for us. And because we created a new separate layer before our, we started working on our frame, Photoshop creates a new frame on a separate new layer we just created with you. And this will give me ability to adjust my frame in a way I like, because this frame positioned on a separate layer, just like that. If you are happy with this frame, you are ready to go, but I would like to add a few more uh, festive uh, details to my frame. To do so, I will click on um, create a new layer to create a new empty layer and I will go to filter, render and picture frame. Yes, picture frame. From here, guys, I will change type of my frame. I will change to root just like that. Look at this. Uh, if you're happy with default uh, root frame, you're ready to go. You can click OK. But I would like to modify my frame. To do so, I will bring, first of all, a uh, size um, value down to about 6. I will change um, flower, uh, wine uh, color to something darker. To do so, I will click on color wheel and I will choose darker red color, just like that. Look at that. And voila. Next step is arrangement. You can change number, uh, arrangement value in a way you like. Let's see what I would like. Okay, this is, this is what I like. Mm, let's see. Yes, no. <laughs> this one, yes. So my arrangement value right now is 50. By default, uh, again, uh, you can leave this uh, frame uh, as it is using default frame style. You can adjust just few details or you can adjust everything what possible to adjust in this frame. And this is what I will do. I will change to flower color and I will use brighter red color, just like that. And also guys, we can change leaf um, tie, style. I will change leaf style to leaf number two. Look at this. And of course, guys, you can change leaf color. I will click on leaf color icon and I will use a brighter green color, just like that. We are not done. We can adjust leaves size. Look at this, guys. This is awesome. You can modify, you can customize your frame in a way you like. Possibilities are endless. So I'm happy with my leaf size uh, value 29 and I will click on advanced. Here guys, we can adjust thickness of our new frame. Just like that. New leaves, I mean, just like that. And change angle. Let's see, I like this angle more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I change angle value to 75.3 and I will click OK and voila, this is our second frame. And again, because we created this frame on a separate layer, we can adjust this frame in a way we like. What I'm doing, I'm um, scaling size of this frame down to fit second line of our first frame, just like that. Look at this and I will click OK. Look at this, how festive is it? If you're happy, guys, with this frame as it is, you are ready to go. You are ready for our next step. But, 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 guys, if you want to bring more details to your frame, this is the last step. Not the last, but one extra step in our frame. To do so, guys, uh, create a new empty layer above all our layers. Switch to a rectangle tool. In the options bar, specify fill. You don't need fill. And color, specify to um, gradient. Uh, select any gradient type 
you would like to use any ingredient anything will work for you but again because because we are working on our winter holidays i would like to bring more festive colors to my frame so let's do it first of all let's create this frame just like that I created this frame and of course we can adjust stroke size and also guys we can adjust um, gradient colors to do so click on stroke and click on a gradient uh, color first color I would like to use will be this red uh, yellow color second color will be a more to light uh, yellow color just like that and look at this guys just look at this we have more finished more polished frame I like it a lot so next step will be we need to bring a uh, picture into our frame to do so I will select background layer I will open my creative cloud library and from here I will um, uh, click on this uh, beautiful giraffe and I will drag this giraffe into my uh, document of course I will scale size down of my frame just of my uh, giraffe I'm sorry and you can do it in a way you like you can reposition your giraffe more to the left more to the right up and down it's up to you this is the way I want to position my giraffe look at this he looks very festive because we're working on the picture frame any picture frame will reflect um, will have reflection in it, in it to do so to add reflection to our frame I will create a new layer above my giraffe but below my first frame just like that I will switch to a gradient tool I will specify a, a, a reflected gradient and I will specify a foreground to transparent from basic um, folder gradient basic folder and now what I will do no I'm sorry I will specify a linear gradient just like that and I will click on the um, right side of my frame and I will drag my gradient somewhere in the middle and voila guys this is our reflection because we have created our reflection on a separate layer we can adjust opacity of our frame I brought opacity of our I'm sorry reflection to 74 if I will uh, switch to my move tool I will adjust my gradient I will scale size down so this gradient will remain inside my frame not outside so after we happy with our reflection uh, we need to add a little bit more um, effect to our frame to make it uh, to make it looks more natural to do so I will select my um, giraffe layer and I will click on a layer style from the drop down menu I've, from pop up menu I will click on inner shadow and just like that I have my shadow you can specify blend mode I will switch to normal and also I will change a color I will change dark blue color just like that and look at this and voila guys look at this we have very beautiful frame so far but we have a few more steps left so next step is I will select my background layer I will click on my gradient tool to uh, enable it I will switch to let's see what gradient I would like to use I will uh, expand reds gradient library and I will switch to this bright happy gradient 
and I will start from the bottom and I will drag my gradient uh, tool to the top. And voila, look at this. The last step is to add a shadow from the frame to our wall. To do so, I will select my first frame, first frame, and I will add, click on add a layer style to expand uh, styles. And from here, I will click on drop shadows, just like that. I will select a different shadow color. I will click on um, a color icon and I will pick color from my background. Right away, I will click and move my color stop to the darker shade. And voila, look at this. Look at this. And I will click OK. And guys, this is our frame, just like that. How easy is it? I would like to show you one extra example, one extra style. We have our second frame positioned on top of our first frame, right? Look at, oh, look at this frame. This frame is beautiful even without the second frame. But what I would like to show you, I would like to show you extra style, extra option. Click on your second uh, frame and move this frame behind your first frame. Switch to a uh, move tool and adjust your frame in a way you like. And now you have more artistic style of your uh, winter holiday frame, just like that. Guys, it is very simple, but very beautiful and very effective. So guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your support. By the way, before I will forget, Please, please, please share with me what you will create after this video. Share with me on uh, my social media platform, Blue Sky, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. I could not, I cannot wait to see what you will create. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I will see you later. Bye.